welcome welcome to new video today i'll discuss about what is talent identification process and procedure and some importance of talent identification to ajker topic hocche je talent identification kake bole ebong er process ki royeche ebong procedure procedure ki ki royeche ebong kichu er group to royeche shei sob jara ei channel e notun hoye thakbe obosshoi channel ti ke like and subscribe kore dibe to cholo shuru kore dewa jak ajker so first of all i am discuss about what is talent identification okay to tale talent identification is the process of talent identification start right in schools at a young age where the person displays the talent and competitiveness among peers okay it is the process of the identifying the skill and potential in young person and providing the appropriate opportunities to showcase and sharpen sharpen those skill okay there is the difference between talent selection and talent identification talent selection is the packing of player with the current ability to participate and the successful in the events hold in near future whereas talent identification is the prediction of future performance based upon the evaluation of current physical tactical and technical and physiologically phys, sorry physiological qualities okay uh, next is talent selection is the simple process but talent identification is an art okay talent identi- identification is the search for young players who possess the physical and psychological abilities to the become a elite athlete it's mean become a big athlete and good success man athlete okay talent ident- identification is the dynamic process and talent is measured by the rate in improve- improvement in the training situation okay next is uh, identification oh sorry talent ident- identification phase or types how many types of uh, talent identification actually mainly three types talent and ident- identification first of all uh, first phase first phase uh, talent identification is below 10 to 12 years of age okay first phase in between year uh, 10 to 12 years years okay second phase talent identification is carried out between 30 13 and 16 years of age okay third phase selected athletes are directed to elite junior program this uh, this phase is concerned with high caliber athletes for example national team members okay now we discuss about talent identification procedure or process okay to identify and deployment develop world class talent it required as a structure pathway that involves four key phase of in intervention there number one planning and preparation planning in preparation is mean in include it it includes devising a talent strategy strategy vision gathering gathering intelligence such as performance traits performance gaps gathering resources and innovation and create creativity second is profiting and recruitment second is profiling and recruitment it's mean a making a talent profile recruitment of talent assessment criteria such as athlete story competition results 
progression skill and physical and psychological traits etc third is talent confirmation it involves a planned confirmation program purpose duration personal techniques is the accepted standard fourth is talent confirmation okay okay already i am discussed this uh, fifth is talent deployment it involves coaching development program induction talent training competition strategy mapping industrial selection deselection and bench making now now next is importance of talent in identification some importance mainly used of in physical education so talent identification importance is number one talent and identification should be done when a athlete is not certainly participating in athletes but is but is identified as showing potential in an athlete event okay second is if an athlete is already participating in track and field cross country or on the road and is so the to the talent in the event this is more appropriately preferred to as talent deployment third is talent identification is most sweet suited to the events which have obvious physical and psychological requirement it events were successfully is determined by skill and strategy the ability to predict performance is more difficult okay fourth is the training program must be coordinated in schools and test results should be sent to the provisional bodies provisional bodies okay fifth is based on levels screening test can administered by teachers and analyzed by athletes coaches and the pro provisional coaching committee six is after identification sports specific tests uh, should be used to the de refine the selection process this can app only the success is when a well structured and resources full talent diploma program in provided okay so today video is topics is talent identification and process and some importance of talent identification so if you this new channel please like share and subscribe